So I pulled the center strip or sill off of my 2012 tr Trail Manor 2720SL because I was getting leaks and you'll see here there's some separation in here. This is because there's probably a little slight dent here in the front. And it goes on up through here as I pulled this strip off here that has like a little it's basically flat with a little um, sticky piece on the bottom. That's what was kind of sealing it up. I noticed it was pretty wet um, in some areas on here so I knew moisture was getting underneath it and I was getting some leaking inside. But you'll see as it goes on back here there are a few places where it was actually pulled up a little bit. Um, if you can see here, I'm not going to crawl up there, but it was a little bit of separation. Down by the AC unit, I did have an issue. That's some lap sealant right there that I stripped entirely away and put new stuff back on it. It's hard to see from here. There we go, there's some focus. You'll see where the it's kind of uh, coming apart there at the seam but it's actually dented up underneath there and I had to put a lot of lap sealant there and it's kind of separating again I just kind of push it up there I need to put some more in there but underneath that little AC shroud um, it's a pretty big separation between the AC unit and the gasket underneath there so that's kind of a concern but I don't know how it got dented up in there but that was part of one leak the Dicor or the um, lap sealant did help fix that but then I still had leaks in the um, sealant in the center stream, center seal here, or at least where I'm, that's where I'm thinking the leak's coming from. It's entering actually into the light fixture up front in my trail matter, and I'm in its way that way. But I'm pretty sure since it was pretty moist underneath there, that's what the issue was. So I'm going to try some um, turnabond tape on this, and maybe put another seal on top of it just for looks, see how that works. All right, now the Eternabond tape is down. Next step is to put the um, trim back down, which I clean, try to clean up pretty good, but I'm kind of thinking I might order a new strip. Um, because it does have this um, tape on the bottom, sticky stuff, so I don't know how good it'll look. I haven't decided yet. The turnabond is down and hopefully that holds the leaks out. So I went ahead and ordered a new, um, a new strip here to go on top of the turnabond. But um, you can see it's a bit more narrow. I replaced it with what I have which is a one inch strip. Um, talking to the factory it appears that maybe that's not the standard size. It's one and three eighths inches now from what I understand. But um, no, I guess it looks okay. I can tell when I put it back down that because of some of the unevenness or maybe a slight denting in the roof that you know I don't think I felt comfortable at all just replacing it with this strip I don't think it would have covered the gaps up as much as you can see there's still some you know separation in here a little bit but that's it turn it on then the uh, trim one inch piece back on here hopefully that works and takes care of my leaks